Last year at MAW Proving Ground, I had a match with Tony Clash. September 26, 2015. At the time, I never seen Tony Clash perform. All I heard about him was a series of matches with Xander Stone in his YouTube show. I remember that day because I was due to MAW. MAW wanted to challenge me and put me up against Showtime Tony Clash. My favorite match that I ever had. That match still remains to be one of my favorites. By the end of that match, I know who Tony Clash was. I never forgot that match. He beat me, and I'm man enough to admit it. I underestimated Tony Clash, and I know I did. He brought the fight to me, and I gave it back. Yes, Tucker, I agree with you. Everything that you said in your first video to me, 100% true, and I agree. It was a great matchup. It was one hell of a match. He earned my respect at the end of the day. Now, over the course of the next MAW events that I followed, I'd watch very closely on Tony Clash's matches. He saw me and would always make a gesture to me saying, part two. I'm gonna be the one who's stepping forward to have Tucker Clash 2 happen. After a while, I planned to get back at Tony Clash until he got injured. Sadly, sports, it happens. RSW is making me wrestle for my contract, rightfully so, and I have to win in order to get my contract back. The whole corporate side of RICW has contacted Clash and has said, hey, Jamie Tucker's in a bind right now with his contract, etc., etc. So, and RSW went and got an opponent for me, knowing the rivalry between myself and Tony Clash and seeing as the fans have been requesting for it for far too long. August 27th, 2016, almost one year later, we dance again, part two. It finally happens. Tony Clash versus Jamie Tucker 2 finally happens. And unfortunately, your RICW career is kind of in my hands. And I'm sorry to be the one that does it, Tucker, but I got something to prove. At RICW Extreme Retribution, I face Showtime Tony Clash my RSW contract. That match realistically should not have gone as long as it did, but it did, you're a fighter. But I will make sure August 27th, Clash Cutter, done. Jamie Tucker, you keep putting videos after videos out about extreme retribution, because that's what I want. I want an extreme retribution. So you say you got something to prove? I have a contract at stake. The only thing you have to prove is that you can beat me easier than the first time. Sad part is, it won't be an easy day at the office for you. That's the night that your ICW career is on the line. The night where I end it. Don't underestimate me for a single second. Because I have everything to lose. And one thing you don't want to do is mess with someone who has everything to lose. Like you said, Clash, I'm a fighter. And what we have here is a fight. See you the 27th. Understand, your career is in my hands. You say in your video, oh, Clash, don't mess with somebody that has everything to lose. Why? Because my career is not on the line. I don't have everything to lose. Man, I got my reputation to lose. This is the week clash. This Saturday, August 27th, RICW Extreme Retribution. It's you versus me, my RICW contract. I watched your last video, but I'm not too happy about it. In fact, it's pissed me off. Because see, you're right. The fate of my RICW contract is in your hands safe to say that I'm more than ready to beat you this Saturday. I'm more than ready. After watching your recent matches and re-watching the first ever meeting that we had, I'm more than ready, Clash. This Saturday, it's a fight. I'm coming for my contract. 
Because you get what you want, and I get what I want. That's part two. So you say, last time was a fluke? <laughs> it's funny. Very funny. Because this time, you're not going to be able to say that. Because I'm going to beat you. But in my eyes, I have everything to lose. Everything's on the line. Just as much as it is for you. Extreme Retribution, Tucker, I too, it goes down. I'll see ya August 27th.